Hi everyone, it's Nora, and I am so excited to continue our wellness series. This week, our three strategies, fit, fueled, and focused, cover high intensity interval training, eating from home, reducing the processed foods and takeout, and a pause in action to be non-reactive. So for the first one, fit. We're focused on high intensity interval trainings for a number of reasons. HIIT training actually shifts your metabolism, shifts your body's physiology to burn fat much more efficiently, to raise the metabolic rate for 24 hours after the workout, so that means you're gonna be burning calories up to 24 hours, also known as excess post-oxygen consumption. And it's quite ideal for all levels, so whether you're just starting out in your fitness regime or you're a pro athlete and you've been working out for years, HIIT training is incredibly beneficial. All it is is applying speed to any movement. So whether it's squats, push-ups, running, you're gonna go as fast as you can for a very short period of time, let's say 30 seconds, with adequate rest in between. I'll be giving you HIIT workouts to try, so they're on video, it's easy to follow along, but there's also a lot of great resources out there for HIIT training. The great thing that you need to know with HIIT training is it's going to actually shift your physiology, shift your body's chemistry, to burn more efficiently, to give you better energy, and to recover quicker. It's also a great thing to incorporate when you're home, since it doesn't require a lot of time, 20 minutes max. If you want to go all the way up to an hour, you definitely can, but you don't need a lot of time to do it, and it requires no equipment. So one of our challenges this week is to incorporate three days of HIIT training. So whether you do that every day, or excuse me, three days in a row, or alternating, I recommend alternating. But those three days are gonna give you that huge metabolism boost, that fat burning power, and you'll just be so much more energized for your day. Our second strategy is under fueled, so it's that nutritional strategy. So I don't know about you, but I've alternated between cooking a lot, being sick of my cooking, and takeout. My challenge to us this week is just to eat at home. Whether that's cooking a lot on one day and eating leftovers for the week, or trying new recipes and just giving yourself that time to cook, whatever you decide to do, there's a reason behind this challenge. This is part of the strategy for nutrition. So when we're eating out, so when we're, whether we're doing takeout or going to restaurants, right now we're not going to restaurants, so just takeout, we're ingesting a lot of oxidized fats. What that means and why that's important. So oxidized fats are oils, processed oils, that are used for cooking these foods at most restaurants because they're cheaper oils, and they oxidize upon heating. So there's cheap oils that are being used to make our food, even if it's healthy food. The oxidized fats are creating an inflammatory response in our body. So they're damaging to our system and they create high inflammation. Given this to moment in time, and really all the time, we wanna ward off pathogens, ward off chronic disease. One of the most important ways to do that is to lower our inflammation. So one easy way to do that is just kind of shift out of that takeout mode and into a more home-cooked version of, of your daily life. And um, that will greatly help reduce your inflammation. So for this strategy, I'll be, I'll be providing some of my Nora's Naturals recipes that are easy to make at home. You can do a lot of meal preps so you have them ready to go. They're great for kids, and most importantly, they're also delicious. Our final strategy is under focused. So I feel, since it's a little bit more of a stressful time, I'm a, a little bit more reactive. So I'm finding that whether it's having a conversation with somebody or even on a conference call on Zoom, this underlying stress is causing this way of reacting too quickly, maybe being a little bit more cranky than usual, or just feeling a little bit tense. I encourage you for this week to practice this one breath technique that makes us non-reactive or less reactive. By doing so, we give ourselves the ability to take that necessary pause, evaluate wh why this is making us feel the way it is, and then reacting in a much calmer state, from a much calmer place, 
which maybe even might boost some of our relationships or increase the happiness level among ourselves and others. So all you're gonna do, and you can try it right now, you're just gonna sit up or stand up tall. When you feel like that agitation comes, all you do is take an inhale, hold your breath at the top, and then exhale slowly. You can do it with your eyes open or closed. If you're in a conversation, you can make it short. You can inhale, hold, exhale before you take that conversation to that next level. And you'll find that it gives you this sense of calm, this calm state, calming your nervous system and giving you the ability to express your emotions much more clearly. It also calms the amygdala, which is the part of the brain responsible for fear and emotional regulation. So that's it, just that simple inhale, hold, and exhale for our focus strategy this week. So for this week, we have our HIT training. Three days a week, I encourage you to do, I will give you the HIT workouts that you can reference to do anywhere, especially at home. Eating from home, so whether that means you cook everything ahead of time or practice these recipes each night with your family or, or on your own. And then finally, that pause, that non-reactive breath, that's gonna help greatly with our emotional control, fear, and anxiety. So thank you again for joining me on this quest of wellness together. I'm so grateful to all of you and Marriott International, both portfolio and luxury brands as my partner and I look forward to seeing you next week. Now I'm here for you for anything you might need as your wellness partner and friend, and I'm, you can reach out to me anytime. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.